What's up guys, it's your boy Justin. Welcome to our latest Batman Month review. Today we're reviewing Batman 66 meets the Green Hornet, which is published by DC Comics and Dynamite, which Dynamite owns the rights to the Green Hornet, at least in the comic book form. So this is a crossover between two uh, superheroes from the 1960s, right, which Green Hornet was originally a radio play, like The Shadow, right? Who then had, like, a film serial series and a TV show in the 60s. Starring Bruce Lee as Kato and Van Williams as Brett Reed, the Green Hornet, right? Which, the, I, I, I did some research for this uh, book. Apparently, the show only had, like... Uh, 28 episodes, which meant it only had, like, one season, right? It got canceled, and their last episode was a crossover between, um, Batman 66 and, uh, <laughs> Green Hornet, right? So, yeah, so, like, this, so, this technically is not their first, like, uh, encounter towards each other that happened in the Batman 66 TV show. Right, so yeah, this is written by Kevin Smith with his actor friend Ralph Garman, and uh, art by Ty Templeton with c beautiful covers by Alex Ross and Mike Allred, which you can kind of see the Mike Allred. I think that's Mike Allred right there. All right, so this this came out in like twenty. Uh, well, th this this graphic novel came out in twenty fifteen. This uh, series came out in twenty fourteen. Which is six issues, right? And you guys, I gotta say, beautiful covers, right? The interior art is not the greatest. You got, you got some weird faces here and there, right? But yeah, the story is basically Batman, Bruce Wayne was on a on a train, uh, overlooking this collect uh, collection of fossils from. That this Italian adventurer uh, g gathered called Franco Bolo, which that's Franco Bolo right there. And who else turns out to be on the train but Brett Reed and Cato? Who Cato looks nothing like Bruce Lee in this book at all. It, like I like th how they draw Brett Reed. He pretty much looks like Van Williams, the actor, but like. But they, look at look at Bruce Lee's Cato man. He looks nothing like Bruce Lee. Which fun fact, the the Green Hornet show in China was called the Cato show because <laughs> they were like even though Bruce Bruce Lee barely talks. I watched like the first two episodes last night. Bruce Lee barely talks, but yeah. So yeah, what happens is the train gets uh, attacked, right? By this guy, who's called General Gum, who create who invented this gl super sticky glue uh, that he accidentally covered himself in, and that's why he looks like that, <laughs> right? And he oh, I forgot to mention that the Green Hornet's gimmick is that he's a he's a crime fighter that pretends to be a like a, a criminal. Right, so obviously uh, Batman and Robin don't know that's you know Green Hornet's a good guy. So I think that's the cat again. Op opening doors. Oh my god. So yeah, I don't. So yeah, the um, obviously you have like. Uh, unreluctant, like, team-up between Batman and the Green Hornet, which is, o which only happens after, uh, General Gum and the Joker steals, like, steals, like, 20 million dollars worth of artifacts that both, both cities end up getting sued by Franco Bolo, that they're forced to come together and work as a team, right? Which, look at these beautiful covers by Alex Ross. Right. So yeah, I, I really liked this book. Uh, the jokes, the the jokes were okay. 
Um, the action, the action was decent. The art looks really good. Here's the Black Beauty, the car, which probably one of the best things about the Green Hornet is the car, and then that and Bruce Lee. Here, here you see like uh, some of the other characters that are on the Green Hornet show, like the, like the DA, DA, and the secretary. All right. They make fun. They make fun of the climbing up walls thing. Right. They never talk about the car. Like uh, they, they never. I would have liked to have known. Hey, what's uh, what's uh, Batman's take on uh, the Black Beauty? Also, they beat the crap out. Of them. <laughs> they, uh, they they beat the crap out of them like super easy, right? Yeah. Also, there's a fight between Robin and Kato that you never see get to. to for, Get to see the who would win because they're just pretend fighting. Look at this beautiful cover, man. Oh my god. Also, a lot of, uh, yeah. Okay, so that's it for this, uh, review. So, what I thought the, the art was good, the writing was decent. Uh, very much in the vein of the Batman 66 sh show. Unlike with the Jeff Parker Batman 66 crossover, you're not, they're not really making fun of the, the, the 66 Batman. Here it's more, it felt more like a celebration of 66 Batman, right? And I really like the Green Hornet character. I'm definitely going to, uh, pick up more dynamite books of that, but if I were to say, if I were to give this a rating, I would say it's a decent read. It was a fun read, but it's not. It's nothing more than a six out of ten, to be honest. So yeah, that's it for this review, guys. Our next Batman month review is going to be Batman: The Return of Bruce Wayne by Grant Morrison. This is. This is how Batman came back to life after uh, Final Crisis, where he got pretty much like uh, turned into a flaming skeleton by by Darkseid. Oh man! So yeah, that's.